My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We got a real special one for you. 16,956,000 ,000 actual miles. Just under 17,000 original miles. It's a 1970 Cutlass. It was repainted one time and they decked it out as a 442. The car is loaded with factory options, air, cruise, power windows, power seat. I'll tell you about all of that. Or you go to volocars.com and you'll see all the specs are listed. You can study about 100 photos. You can get the price not only on this one, but we have about a uh, couple hundred collector cars all for sale at volocars.com. If you enjoy our video, subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the bell icon. You'll be notified as new ones come out. But right now, let's go for a spin in this low mile 70 Oldsmobile. I'm always skeptical when people tell me about low miles and that, but uh, it, there's no doubt this car is original. Uh, I was bought from an estate in 2014. The car has always been garage kept. All the original sheet metal, perfectly clean. The bottom of the car is so clean. Now, when you look at the pictures underneath, don't be uh, fooled by the surface rust. You're going to have suspension parts in that. They'd have a haze of surface rust that would come off with a scuff pad. So when I say it's rust free underneath, I mean, it is rust free. All the factory seams and spot welds and floors. There's nothing uh, pitted or flaky whatsoever. That in uh, the car world is considered a very rust free underside. It's just never been spray painted or dolled up, uh, but it's still very clean. Uh, it has a dual exhaust system. The VIN number on the Rocket 350 motors down below the head, the VIN number matches the car. The Turbo 350 matches the car. It's the original rear end for the car with a cruising gear in it. Uh, the front end components, everything looks really good underneath this car. Uh, again, the body, outstanding. It had nicks and chips and, and that sort of thing, so they did repaint the car completely. They added the Ram Air hood, it fits real nicely. They painted on the W30 stripes. They did an excellent job of that. And they put on the 442 emblems. These are 1970 only mirrors. It has the crease around the mirror. There was a one year only. They're, they're the correct ones for this car. Uh, it's got the super stock two wheels. They're painted the color of the car. The trim is real nice. I think one of the medallions in the middle, one of them I thought was faded. Uh, but conditions, outstanding. It's a show quality paint job. I noticed a couple nicks touched up from the, the hood lock, uh, but all the moldings and trim is just beautiful. All the glass is crystal clear. The vinyl top is excellent. The rubber seals, the weather strips. I love it when they fit and close and open like that. The jams are perfect under the door is uh, perfectly clean metal. The sill plates are excellent. Crystal clear rear window. Inside, all the trim is mint. It has the original metal uh, speaker grill. They did put the 442 bumper with the cutout exhaust tips for the trumpet tips. The lenses are excellent. All this stainless is just mint. All clean metal down here. The factory spot welds, I can feel them. Uh, are still down there. Usually it's covered with Bondo or it's been repaired. The stripes are painted on. Fits perfectly square and flush. This door jam just as nice as the decals in the door jam. We'll open the hood. Up front here, all the trim, the plastic grills, it's all mint. It all fits just right. On the Oldsmobile, the bumpers fit the contour of the body. And if anything's just a little off, they're not going to fit. But it fits the body all the way around. Also has T3 headlights. All four of the original headlights are still in this car. It's a reproduction hood, but they do have all the latches hooked up to it. 
very clean original engine compartment. We'll come back to that in a minute. The interior is original except for new carpets. The seats are pristine. The cushion's nice and firm, has all the seat belts. Door panels are mint. The whole dash area, the vents, uh, all in excellent shape. The trim, the headliner, the light is working. Excellent interior, no mouse nest, it doesn't stink inside, uh, and things are working. The clock is ticking, the AM, FM radio works, the power windows, power seat works. Trunk compartment is like a time capsule. This is original, it has the original spatter finish, gray and white paint, never been respray canned or anything, and it's mint. Oldsmobiles have their own like felt two-piece mat. Uh, it's the original one and it's mint. Usually by now it's frayed and stained. The spare has never been on the ground. It has its ink stamps and sticker on the tread. It's got the complete jack. The wiring is excellent. The light works. Some more features in here. It's got the sport wheel. It's a tilt column with cruise control. Now the 70 Cutlass, the Rocket 350 is 310 horsepower. That's no slouch. And the Cutlass came with a very potent engine. It always surprised me that 310 horsepower engine out of a Cutlass. There's plenty of power. It is the four barrel. I took the air cleaner off. It's the original carburetor. It's actually very clean. Uh, the heat riser tube, everything is there the way it should be. Uh, the air, air conditioning box is its raw fiberglass. There's actually a factory Oldsmobile stamp on the other side of it. Uh, the firewall, none of that's been spray canned over. The engine's never been spray canned. They did put new plug wires on it and their reproduction dated plug wires. Uh, so in here it has power steering, power brakes, factory air, cruise control. Sill plates, the vents. In the glove box, all that's real nice. This is the original paint under here with the original stickers still in place. It's in mint condition. That's a beautiful trunk compartment. Let me start it up for you. It runs and feels really good too. It just runs nice. I know the radio works, I tried it out. All the, the chrome bases for the visors, the pillars, the dash pad is all really nice. There's a little bit of cloudiness on the mirror just around the edges. Original cadmium plated booster. These flaps are always missing on the Oldsmobile, even this plastic clamp that holds the hose, the shroud, everything in here is proper. Everything on the firewall, original fenders, see how nice that's shut? This too, you just, one finger, it'll click shut. Extremely nice car. When you get a low mile car like this, they just feel right. They're not worn. There's this is still a factory put together car. They just feel different than a restored car. They're only original once, as they say. This car's got so much going for it. Very high quality, loaded with options. Turnkey car ready to show and go. Visit volocars.com. And that's where you can find plenty of ways to contact us. We'll help answer any questions or concerns about the car or the process. Uh, we have financing. We have delivery. We can help with all of that. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. You'll be the first to see the next one that comes out. Thanks for watching.